مشاهدينا في فقرة الفاشن من برنامج سيدتي اليوم معانا مصمم المجوهرات العالمي فواز جروسي صاحب علامة ديكروزوغونو وحنتعرف معاه على حجر الألماس الأكبر من نوعه لأول مرة في دبي Fawaz, I'm really glad you're with us here today and you're celebrating more than 20, almost 25 years in creating glamour. And you unveiled your masterpiece, which is like a masterpiece of design with a flawless diamond. Can you tell us more about it? This amazing surprise came all out. And uh, yes, it was beautiful, but uh, it's the only piece that will give me a bit of problems. In the sense, I was a little bit scared I never had any problem in designing anything uh, and with the reserve for 24 years so what I did and that was very normal. So when uh, I saw that beautiful stone, I started to panic and... Um, Because it's very big also. No, the responsibility uh, was huge, one for the beauty, one for the price. And, uh, you know, there is always people uh, ready to criticize us, uh, so it's, um, it's, it's, it's quite normal. Anyhow, I didn't do any design for um, at least a month, just thinking uh, how can I do something which was exceptional. And uh, finally, um, I started to design different um, type of That's, I call it dress, dressing the stone. And um, I came out with around 50 designs. And I have to say, uh, it was difficult to choose one of them because there were too many 50, so, but I had to choose one, so. So how did you pick between the 50 designs? I didn't play lottery, but almost, because I have to say they're all quite uh, beautiful. And I just was looking for the one who had more character than the other one. So I didn't succeed, so I closed my eyes and I just point one of them, because honestly, well, they were all absolutely stunning. What is the ranking of this diamond in the world? Well, it's considered uh, not, I mean, I'm not saying this by myself. Uh, I just give an example. For example, the CEO of the GA in, in New York, he was just um, speechless. And for somebody like him that was, he's in the GA since ever. So he was not sure if I w he was wrong because apparently he was, for him, was a stunning piece of uh, an exceptional diamond. So he called some collaborators, which they are in the library to leave the analyze of all the stones. And they said, what do you think about the stone? And the two guys, they were, say, this is amazing. And they asked me the permission to take the stone to their laboratory, which is just next, uh, next door. And they said half an hour, they were supposed to be coming in half an hour. They came after an hour and a half, mm. saying that they never seen a diamond with that quality and beauty. And uh, jokingly, uh, Tom Moses said, uh, normally the decolor is the maxim. He said, it's so beautiful, so amazing, we should add the sea. So, yeah, and unfortunately we can't put the sea because the D is the most important and the D is, is, that is because of diamonds. Anyhow, uh, when we did the presentation, For example, the first presentation, it was in Hong Kong, like, I mean, a couple of weeks ago. Their reaction was absolutely stunning. So now we are in Dubai, and uh, we did this presentation um, since few days. I'm extremely positive that will be a great reaction. Of course. The necklace itself is very creative, and it's bold to do this to a flawless piece, like to do a creative piece, not a classical one. Do you usually like to challenge yourself while designing? Well, you know, I don't really challenge myself. Maybe I do that, but I don't realize I'm doing that. My character is, uh, I don't allow any, any, if something, there is a lot of people that say, well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but you know, but it's still beautiful and they keep it. I can't do that. Can 
tell us the secret behind using the emerald green in the necklace? These emerald, which are, they are the color, which I, the point of color, which I think they were really, they are really brilliant and they're really talking. With the contrast with the white, especially because the main stone, the contrast between the two, I thought was the best things to do. Can I ask you how much uh, will the necklace go for? Like, what's the minimum? Well, the minimum, of, we didn't want to scare people, so we put a, a, a base of 30, starting from 30 million up to 40. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, the piece you. is really incredible and marvelous. And you are amazing too. Thanks. <laughs>